We're bringing standards back to the game. We're not here to hype up the hottest rappers. We represent good music. If you're good, you're good. If you're whack, you're whack. If you want the real, this is where it's at. Welcome to Real Rap. It's the real. Hip hop. Hip hop. Alright, next album. One of the gods of rap, man. Welcome back, Raekwon. Raekwon the Wild. Me personally, I love Ray. I think he can speak. But this, is, but this album. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, it was okay. Wow. Yeah, he, he had a good couple songs, like the one with Wayne, the Corner. Let's, let, let's go over. Let's go over the track list. We'll, we'll we'll talk about each song as we go down. The wild intro. It was the intro. This is what it comes to. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Nothing. I thought it was okay. Yeah, skit. That Marvin song, the Marvin Gaye song? I didn't like it. What? I didn't like it. That was a fucking hit. That was a great song, dog. He told a whole story. He told some shit that I didn't even know about Marvin Gaye. That shit was a I didn't understand like why he did it, but it was a great song, dog. I didn't like it. Why did you like it? Like, why did you like it? First of all, I didn't understand why he was talking about Marvin Gaye on his album. <laughs> you just said it. It's fucking Marvin Gaye, man. Yeah, that, that threw me off right though. What are you saying? Uh, you're talking about Jay, Jay came out with Marvin Gaye, man. It's like a young Marvin in his hay, man. Give him, give him pay homage, that's, that's a metaphor, man. He ever tell this man business, man. I ain't understand. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, he was spending on about that's on that on that code alone. I guess that me and Cole, you know, I ain't understand the song, so I ain't really like the song. It was that's a great song. storytelling though, so. And the hook, it was I don't know, I, th I thought it was a great song. Uh, can't See, I mean, Can't You See, it was okay. My Corner, you liked it. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was okay. I like Wayne verse, though. Wayne, Wayne spit. Hopefully, we get something after Rick Ross stepped on Birdman's neck. And hopefully, Wayne, Wayne spit. Wayne spit, but I like Ray on this song, bro. Really? Yeah. I like, I like Wayne on it better. This, and then there's a skit. And then, um... So you didn't like Eminem? Like the whole concept they're just using N words and N words. They went back and forth. That's some nineties type of stuff, man. <laughs> I feel like the whole album was kinda nineties. Like that's why I was like like everybody was like, Oh you just you stuck in the nineties, you you want the nineties. No, I don't want the nineties. I just want creativity and I want spirit. Yeah, it was correct, but the whole album But it was like the whole yeah. feel was like nineties, yeah, like the yeah, beats, yeah. like the rapping, it was just like that's yeah. why I, I wasn't really feeling, feeling it like that. But I thought the Eminem, I thought that was nice. I thought that was a nice concept. They used M words. He used N words. Then they went back and forth. Vision Hour. I thought it was hit. I liked the first verse. And I want to nominate it for verse of the year as well. Stay on my feet, I can't slip. Remain focused cause these vultures are lurking, praying I don't win. But they can forget about it because I ran for this. Yeah, tears of sweat devoting my life I bled for this. I agree with y'all every moment it came in my head. Yeah, he, yeah. he spit on that. Yeah, he did the thing on that. Um, then there was I a skit. And then the rain. I didn't like the beat with the song. It just it just seemed off like like it was like Silk the Shock. He's like rapping off beat. It just it just didn't go with it. It, 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 it didn't go together. Uh, Crown of Thorn. That's the song that I wanted to say I like. I like that song. Shooters and builders to coops in the pavilions. Play wealth. Keep your health and your heart first. The bells that's been passed from the last car collisions and cracks. We was there rolling up, holding duffel bags. This facts. Oh, I thought it was alright. I like this song. That's on cold, man. I like the beat, I like how you spit on it, it was cold in me. That was classic Ray Kwan. If you wanna hear Ray Kwan, if you don't listen to Cuban Links, you don't want a song on this album, that song, Thongs, Crown of Thongs, yeah, he did the thing, mm -hmm. man. I thought it was alright. Uh, Purple Brick Road, I like the hook. I ain't like the damn beat. 
I like the, I didn't like how uh, the, yeah I didn't like they switched the beat. I didn't, yeah, I didn't like how they switched the beat or his flow. I didn't like his flow in it. I thought G Jeezy versus Straight though. Dude yeah. sound like Nas to me. He's a white dude. But he sound like Nas. I thought that was Nas on the going on. For real? Yeah. Yeah, he's straight. He's from, he from, he from the Bay Area. You never heard of him? Uh-uh. Might, might do y'all on Jeezy. Hype you up a little bit over there. And then, uh, You Her Me. I liked it. I liked the beat. I liked how he was, he was uh, rapping fast. I wish it was three verses. Like he went, he went in like for the first two, and he's rapping real fast. I, I wish he had a third verse, and then that the song answer. sounds similar to Jay Z Dynasty album. You, me, him, and her. You remember that song? The same title. I mean, man. they sound I similar. Taking a shot at Jay. He probably will, but it sounds <laughs> similar. Jay don't want it with the chef, man. All right. They don't call him, they don't call him the best. They don't want him with the chef, man. They don't call him the best rapper alive, nigga. Now, we not gonna, we not gonna keep doing this, cause, what's, what's your girl's name? Well, he, she love Jay, man. She always be commenting, man. What's her name? <laughs> Hold on, Shaquita. Shaquita. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say nothing about Jay. <laughs> no more. I don't need no three or four o'clock in the morning, uh, <laughs> messages from you talking about Jay, man. We not gonna say nothing else about Jay, no more. <laughs> Alright, so you gave it. What, what'd you get out? I gave him seven. Oh well, shit, that's pretty good. That's straight. I mean, it right, right spit, but it you gave it seven because because he a legend, or you gave him seven because it was a seven. Yeah, a little bit of both, but you know, man, I can't, I can't, you can't just respect the legend. Can't respect like that, man. Well, I gave it a, a six. So a six point five. It was alright. I just feel like it was just kind of outdated. Like, I feel, I mean, it kind of picked up like towards the end, but like the first half it was straight 90s. Like, yeah, like, it had an overall feel of the 90s, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Which is cool. You need that in a balance the game up, but it was you, too much. Yeah, it you, you should have brought it to the prison a little bit, you know. So, next album is. The greatest rapper alive, Drizzy, Drizzy Drake, More Life, and nobody fuck with him. Not Kendrick, Jay Z, Eminem. Nobody saying that, but right now the man got the game in the headlock. No, I'm just saying and he hates that. He hates that with a passion. <laughs> Why you say that? Cause you do. You you call a man a female, the male version. I didn't call him a female. Relax. I didn't no. call him a female. You might as well. You call him a male version, Sade. I, you, you call I was trying him. to. I was trying to give. I was trying to give his props. You won't let him give his props, huh? You hate this man with passion. Better than Jay, uh, Eminem, this, Kendrick. So you tell me he can't sing better than him? He's about to sing it in them, man. <laughs> hey, Kells, man, watch out, dog. This guy coming for the crowd. You just can't admit. This yeah. guy's coming for the crowd. We're going to be serious for a minute. He ain't got the game on lock. Max. Drake. <laughs> More than lock. <laughs> he ain't got the game on lock. You want to go first or you want me to go first? I'll go first. Go ahead. Thanks for fun. All right. I want to I wanna give a, a uh, special shout out to my guy, Kenneth. Uh, he put me on the Drake like a while ago, a long time ago. On uh, the mixtape when he was uh when he was spit. He spit with Wayne and uh I became a fan. But um this might be the last fucking Drake album that we have on real rap. Like <laughs> you're pushing it, dog. You fucking pushing it. The second album we had on the on the episode, on the show and come on dog, you really come on man, what the fuck is going on, dog? I don't know if you call it a playlist because you didn't want it to be fucking recognized as an album or what. It was a compilation. I don't know what the fuck was going on. So I was like, yeah, you're going to strike two, man. You're about to strike out. You come out with another whack ass album. All right. You want, like, I don't even know, like, when I was listening to it, like, even on views, like, we kind of shitted on views, like, the, the last, uh, I mean, the episode when we did views. Yeah. But views was overall a good album. It just got lower scores because it wasn't a rap album. He sang on it a lot. But he still had hit songs on that album when he was singing. And he had songs on there when he was spitting. So it was all right. it was a it was a great album as far as an album, as far as a rap album. 
It wasn't. This one was worse. Like it, I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to the radio no more, so I don't really know like what's the hit songs on here. So when I'm listening to it, everything on this album is fresh to me. I don't know what's good and what's not, and not too many songs on this album stood out. And for Drake. Drake has like on that album he had like seven or eight hits on that album on the views album alone. Yeah. And this one was like, I don't know. He kind it kinda warmed up to me because he started spitting like the last four to five songs at the end of the at the end of the album. But let's go over let's let's go over let's go over the track. And oh man, these guys man, they fucking Drake and Drake and Ikes. What I don't know what do you call them. They, they like whatever he does is gold, like it's crazy. Same guy, Jeremy. You fucking hyped up the Drake. What up, Bo? How the Bo, Bo, Bo? Shout out to Bo. Bo was real in this album, though. Bo was real. Like, he said he didn't really like it. Oh, okay. He said he didn't really like it. Oh, okay. Darren was hyping up. Darren was hyping up some shit on this album too. He said the free smoke, the glaciers, and Portland, or some shit or whatever. So I'm, I'm looking forward to those songs, and I didn't like any of those. So let's go over the free smoke. It was okay. It was all over the place. He had a few lines here and there. No, oh, my man, when he, cause I listened to it, was he saying free hip hop and smoke, or he said he was gonna smoke is free. Like, it, to me, it just felt like a like a amigo song or something. Like he he just was trying to like be cool. Like I want free smoke, smoke, hey, da 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 da, hey, ba da ba da ba da ba, hey. Like he wasn't like saying shit. It just felt like it was like a turn up song or whatever. So I don't, I didn't really. I didn't really see that in, in, in that song at yeah, all. I did one because I lost on that too. I couldn't get a bill paid, you couldn't buy the real thing I was staying up at your place, trying to figure out the whole thing I saw people doing things And then, uh, No Long Talk Come on, man. Not from Jamaica, dog. This is the Jamaican Drake Like, he, he was a fucking, like, I'm gonna call you Snow, dog. Like, he was the white guy, fake Jamaican, man that's his second time doing it. He did that with that um he did that song with Malaysia. When he was all in love with her. Oh, had all the Malaya, Malaya. Malaya, well, But he was singing though. But he was like he was Jamaican, like, rapping Jamaican like then he had a, the Jamaican guy on there. Come on man. You know we know you're not Jamaican, man. Hey man. Hey man, what? He probably he probably seen a Jamaican girl, he made a song about it, man. I don't know <laughs> shit. That's what he do. You see a chick and he make a song about it. And that's your boy. You got the game of Choco. You do. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> you hate it. Passion fruit, trash. Didn't like it. <laughs> At all. Uh, the interlude. I like the interlude, dog. I thought it should have been a song, but it was only an interlude. I, that's crazy. How the fuck you like an interlude, dog? It's not even a real song. Alright, get it together. It wasn't Drake. But hold on for a minute. But I, I do respect Drake for putting some people on songs on an album with his name on it, knowing a lot of pe a lot of people gonna listen to it to get them some exposure. So I want to shout him out for that. I respect that. I respect that a lot. I don't respect shit that he's doing now. <laughs> I wish you fucking retired. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna go that far. Well, come on, man. But. <laughs> And they probably wrote. They probably wrote half of this fucking album. That's probably why they on this fucking and album. Man, it's so he can't admit Drake got the game on lock, but he do. The don't sick, this number six song. Even though he's trying to be somebody he's not. It was okay. He had fucking six hooks. It was six hooks in the fucking song, man. In two verses, and the verses was four lines. I think him and J Cole had a collaboration on this shit. What do you think? <laughs> All right, the blim. It was okay. It was the singing Drake. The, <laughs> the forty-four twenty-two. Are you fucking serious, dog? He said forty-four twenty-two for fucking three minutes, dog. Fuck out of here, man. Was this even a song, dog? Hey, I had it in my notes to prove that how he run the game. I heard my fuck say that was hard. Get the fuck out. I heard my fuck say that. <laughs> I heard my fuck say that. He had four lines, dog. Go on YouTube. My fuck say that's hard. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my god. Drake running this game. 
Right when the guy is there. It's just a lot of fucking followers, man. Everybody jump on whatever the fuck is hot, man. Right Drake is hot and they jump on That shit was right fucking garbage, day, man. man. That shit was garbage. Right. The Glacier shit. I thought it was, I mean, going in, they, they probably hyped it up too much. Like, I even want fucking hype up shit. So I got high expectations, so when I listen to it, I probably think it's worse than what it really is. But I didn't, I didn't really like this. It was, it was trash. <laughs> he know it. Everybody know it. If you not even a fan of Drake, you know this man running the game right now. I'm, I'm per se not a fan of Drake. No, you're a fan. I'm not a fan of Drake. Well, I tell you, back when he spit, I'm a fan. I think he cold when he spit. But as far as goddamn popularity, streams, this and that, and you can't tell me this man to run the game. The man made a song about. We're not numbers. talking about running the game. We're talking about rap. This is real rap. Well, he's sure. not fucking rapping, so he's running away from the game because he can't fucking rap. He's running away from Kendrick, K Dot. <laughs> can't wait till we do his fucking album. That's gonna be a classic times two. This shit gonna hurt my head. I, I already know this shit gonna hurt my head. All right, the Skepta interlude wasn't Drake. Portland, no, it was trash. <laughs> the hook was cool. It was trash. Sacrifices, I like that song. Nothing into something. <laughs> oh, it's another fucking 30 second song, man. Is this like the new shit that they doing? It's like a fucking 30 second song, and it's a fucking. Come on, man. It shouldn't even be on the fucking album. Teenage yeah. Fever, it was okay. Should have been longer. This shit come from the man's soul, baby. I don't, man. I don't like it, dog. I don't like it. I don't like this new game at all. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm, we might cancel the show, man. We keep getting down something like this, though. It might be the last fucking real rap show. Uh, KMT was okay. I like Drake Verse. It was cool. Then it started picking up. Even though the album was almost fucking over. I had to waste my fucking life listening to the, the first fucking 15 songs. 16, Lose You. I liked it. That's why I became a Drake fan. Like, this song is why I became a Drake fan. Can't have everything. I liked it. Glow. You know who's on the song Glow. Right. Mm -mm. It was a legend on that song. He probably top five rappers that ever be in the game. Mr. Kanye West. Um, <laughs> I, think they should, I think they should do an album together, man. That's no, they they, they, they have good chemistry, man. Yeah, they need an album to go. Kanye do the beats and Drake need a rap. Other than that shit. You know? I kind of like the same person. So, um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since way back, it was okay. I like the hook. Kanye a sucker. Drake versus and Drake's not a fucking sucker. <laughs> Fuck out of here. He just suck up all suckers, man. <laughs> he just stopped in the middle. Fuck out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like to choke myself. He stopped in the middle and switch. Just say Drake ain't just Drake a sucker. The man I hate Drake. <laughs> man, fuck Drake. No, nah, I like Drake. Fake love. It was a hit. I like the verse. It was shorter than the hook though, like, this shit is crazy, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't get why they doing that, man. How's the hook longer than the verse? That don't make no sense to me. Ice Mel, I liked it. I like Young Thug, man. He wasn't really saying shit, but it was like a nice little flow to it. I thought, I thought it was cool, man. And do not disturb. I can't even party while a nigga pursuing this. Distractions are do you in in the truest sense. Especially people that want to lecture me and frame it like they just want the best for me or they check for me. He fucking spit through the whole fucking song. No hook, no nothing. No stops, no Sade intermissions, none of that shit. It was nice, man. So all in all, I almost gave it trash. Like, I was kind of hoping that I could give it trash. I was kind of hoping. But I gave it a five. <coughs> the crazy thing, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I get... I gave him the same score, but my, my thing, I was into a song, I got mad, I started to duck and stuff. I'm like, I'm tired of all this singing shit, I'm ready to get back to the old Drake when he spin. So I'm getting, for he on the end, Drake, you might not look at this show yet, you know what I mean? You, you probably big time. Until you start spinning on full album, I'm giving you a five. I don't give a damn what it is. I'm giving you a five. I'm tired of listening to song. Because you know you better than that, man. You can get to eat ball, you can eat on the track. I need you to do that shit. You man. can eat bars. What the fuck does that mean? That means that you can eat on the track. Like, he can oh. feast on the track. The sister clarified that Drake can eat on tracks and sing to the ladies. We're going to uh, go on to um, the greatest rapper alive. Who, Jay Z? The greatest city in the world. The guy who made Jay Z's career. 
Fuck. Kanye West. Oh, A.K. A.K. Kanye Kardashian. Hey, man, he make everybody a superstar, man. Nah, okay. All right, college dropout, man. man. Go ahead, uh, bring your hate, dog. This ain't no class, folks. All right, tell me why it ain't classic, folks. Hey, we don't say folk, man. That's some gang, some gang shit, man. We don't say folk. I'm just gonna say, man. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta respect the city, man, for his, for his album, man. Hey, Shots this ain't no classic. Yeah, it's a high album, but it ain't no classic. You probably got like three, four songs on there. <laughs> you, know I mean? you fucking lying, man. What three songs? Yeah, fucking four or five. The three songs I like was Spaceship. I've been working this great shift, and I ain't yeah, yeah. shit. I wish I Me could too. buy me a spaceship and fly. The song with Ho, never, was it Never Let Me Down? And I give you through the wire, you know what I mean? I give them through the wire. So you don't give All Falls Down? <laughs> you don't give like Jesus Walks? You didn't like that song either. You didn't like Slow Jams? Uh-uh. Workout? Uh-uh. Two Words? Uh-uh. Family Business? No. Fuck out of here, man. You just being a hater. You get personal, dog. You, you, don't, you don't listen to the music. You get personal, man. You get personal. That's why you don't. That's why you don't like it. Cause you get personal. You got personal on Big Shine. Now you get personal on Kanye. I got personal. I can't you say he's a sucker. You keep saying he's a sucker. I, I can't have, have, have to do with music. music. I can't have to do with music. I can't have opinion. Yeah, you have opinion. All right, then I got no opinion. You're biased, man. Oh, buddy. Very biased. All right, let's let's go through the go, let's go through this classic album. No classic. All right. You know? Do you remember the intro? You remember who's on the intro? No. Did you listen to the fucking album, man? True for a life. Huh? True for a life. <laughs> you didn't listen to the album, man. Man, you can, you can, you, this sucker shit you can remember, man. See, it's it's the sucker it, shit. He, he didn't even listen to it. The intro. Like, the, the reason why it's a classic, not just his songs is classic. Even his skits were nice. Like, some of them was kind of like, but most of you don't even count skits, though, on albums. Yes, you do. They own up. Yes, you do. And you just heard them say they was whack. So it's not a classic, but I don't want them to drop their knowledge. I'm okay. Be quiet, man. Okay, okay. Well, well, no, no, you're not going to be quiet. Because you fucking lying. Because we did Juvenile last week. You said it was a classic, but you said the fucking skits. You don't listen to the skits. So that's not fucking true. For what? And for two, you don't count the skit. For some of the, the intro, it sounded like Bernie Mac, but it was actually D Ray. D Ray Davis. Doing a Bernie Mac voice on the intro of the other uh, album, and that was nice. Uh, we don't care. We don't care. Never gonna make it past twenty five. The jokes on you. We still alive. You don't remember that song? You can fucking listen to that. Like that. I like that song. Garbage, man. The graduation <laughs> skit or gradu graduation day. That skit was nice. D Ray's on there talking about. What the fuck was that, Kanye? And he talked about he talked like Bernie Mac through the whole time, and then they had the song at the end. All Falls Down was a fucking hit. No, it wasn't. I Fly Away, the skip before that was nice. The, uh, the spaceship was a hit. I get you that one. Jesus Walks was a hit. Never let me down. Come on, that Jesus name in it. Don't mean it was no goddamn hit. This ain't no Apollo shit. It ain't like you say. Yeah, Jesus that, that, that would that would have seemed like that would have seemed. You like. know the Midwest is young and restless. My snack to neck with. Get out of here, man. I heard know the song, man. Hey, what he he fucking out, man. spent the whole fucking song, man. Yeah, Never let you down. Liked it. Get him high. Oh, yeah, because the hole. Get him high. Hole. What you mean, because the hole? Hole oh, killed him on that song, and you know that. Come on, man. The it best, was embarrassing. The best line on there is I can't be, I can't be mad with the accident did to my left eye. Cause look what the accent did to left eye. First the Leah and the Romeo was that. Come on, man. Sean, you don't get that, that in there. there. You don't get that. You know, that. You know how That's why I died. Man. Aaliyah died and Romeo from uh, Moesha died. And Aaliyah was in Romeo must die. Like, come on, man. He got he got an accident. His fucking left eye was out here. Left eye. Come man. on, man. That's too many fucking blood metaphors in one fucking. Holy kill on his own. No. 
Okay, get them high. I'm oh, trying to catch time. the beat. Oh, I'm trying to catch the beat. Liked it. True. The workout, the workout <laughs> landscape was funny with the, with the girls. Uh, of course, workout that was a hit. Slow jams was a hit. The breathe, breathe in, breathe out. No, nah, it was all right. That was okay, but it wasn't skippable. The um, what's his name? Luda. I mean, I wish Luda would have spit on there, but he did. The, he did the hook on it. Uh, the school spirit that was cool. Um, then it was the, the three skits in between that. Two words. You didn't like two words. No. So pretty much, you say a class is you don't listen to. You listen throughout the whole album, right? Right. You did, did like five, six songs you could skip through. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did. Yes, you did. I said. The breathe in, breathe out was okay. I didn't say you could skip through it, it was cool. Skip, that means skip. No, it doesn't. That doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mean lines. skip because it's okay, doesn't mean skip. Uh, drop, drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. That's all you gotta do. So you're you telling, you so you telling me an album that's classic, every song is, is good? Then you tell me that's the definition. I said, no, no, no. I said it's not skippable songs. Those aren't skippable songs. They're not as good as those other songs, but they're not skippable. They're yes, cool. they are skippable. No, because he had lines in there and then the hook in there was good good enough for you to keep listening to it. I was like a step, go. Omega step. I like the I like to read the comments. I'm gonna be honest with you. I read comments. Can y'all just leave him some comments? That drop drop a little I know he's on. fucking lying. He's not reading shit. He didn't even listen to out. <laughs> okay, listen because the two words like the through the wire was a hit. How do you not like family business, dog? That's like the most relatable song on there, dog. You know that one auntie, you don't mean to be rude, but every holiday nobody eating a food. And you don't want to stay there, cause them your worst cousins. Got roaches at the crib like them your first cousins. Okay, cousin, man. You talking about three by the head and three by the leg. You ain't having to tell my girlfriend I used to pee in the bed. You know what I'm talking about. But I ain't going to put you out on blast, but you know what I'm talking about. You, you, you'll watch it. You know what I'm talking about, you all Oh, family business. He shit through cold, man. Last, it's, it's family business, man. I can't tell you what I'm talking about. It's family business, man. It's the name of the song, man. I respect. Last call. It's a great way to end the fucking album, dog. The fucking song was probably 20 minutes long. He told his whole fucking story how he got in the game, man. And he got the chain. Come on, man. That shit went all the way in, dog. Ladies and gentlemen. Cheers to the rock. Last call for alcohol. Come on, man. Ladies She's and gentlemen, like a fella. don't break his heart on the comments yet. Let him think this was a classic. Then you drop the signs on him. But you know. Ah, okay, we, we, let's do it like this. Besides, what's her name? Shaquita? Shawanda? What's her name? <laughs> Shamika. Whatever her name is. No disrespect to your name, but I know it's some shit like that. She probably gonna be on your side. She be on your side the whole time. But everybody in fucking America knows this is a fucking classic album, and he be on bullshit. So besides me, because she probably the only one that's gonna drop fucking comments on this shit, because she always going on me. But everybody else knows it's a fucking classic album, man. Okay. So how about this? How about this? We we gonna let you pick the classic album for the next episode. But how about this? You think you think that majority of people are gonna say that this is not a classic album? Then again, I don't know, cause some it, 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 it can be some homeless. You you probably have some people that gonna. <laughs> I don't okay, know. okay, 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 okay. How about this? People, y'all leave comments in there saying it's a classic or not, right? Please, we need comments. And then I'm gonna let you know if they from the crib or not. All right. Final. Honestly. So the first, we're gonna do the first ten people that that uh, leave comments saying if it's a classic or not. Right, right, right. I'm with you. How many? How many? How many? All right, first ten people. I say five. I'll say not a class. I say hey, it gonna be split. So if it's more, if it's more, if it's more than five, I want you gotta you gotta take one of them double shots that we took on that book. Say no more. Oh, they ain't. And if it's not, then I'll take the shot. Say no more. First 10. Please, please drop knowledge on him. Please. Is, okay, the question is, is college dropout, Kanye West college dropout, is it a classic? Yes or no? Y'all leave comments on here and let us know. Please. I'm yeah. going to drink a double shot in this. 
Then this episode okay. starting off. <laughs> this shirt. Go to shopkingbrand.com to get one of these shirts. They got all different colors, all different types. They got hats, they got hoodies, whatever you want, they got it. So go to shopkingbrand.com to order anything for them. Or you can follow Eddie on double E, double E on Instagram. And he got a blog. He's doing a lot of things. So support him. We support him. He supports us. So go to Eddie Eyes, E D D I E, E Y E Z on YouTube and subscribe to his channel. Also subscribe to our channel, Fist TV, if you haven't already.